Hey guys, Jazz here, here with another tutorial. Basically, I'm going to do this in three different parts, and I'm going to show you how to make this uh, video wall from Master Beef that he made. Something similar, it won't be exactly 100%, but it's all down to creativity and how you do it. So, if you've not seen this video, I'll link it down in the description as long as this channel because he came up with this concept, so I see it as his. So, it'll be this sort of effect here. And you can see the sort of screens and stuff. Yep, so I'm just going to turn this off for now. I'm just going to go straight into this. So, the first one, we're going to be learning how to make this type of screen this border thing. Next one, we're going to be learning how to make the cylinder, how to make, basically how to make the round circle of screens and then the final tutorial we're going to be learning how to animate it in a way that would look good such as Master Beef did. I mean most After Effects is about the movement and the actual doing but of course movement sells it. So now we're going to get straight into this, this is not going to take too long I hope. So let's just go straight into it. I'm going to create a new project. I'm not going to save this one. I'm going to drag in my other footage, so you're going to drag in whatever footage you want to put on it. I'm going to create a new composition. And that's fine for now. I'm going to put up our title action safe. Grab our pen tool. I'm just going to have a look at these options here. By the way, I'm using After Effects CS6 at the moment. I have After Effects CC as well, which I may use. Uh, in another tutorial about 3D stuff, but for now I'm just showing you on After Effects CS6. So I've got loads of stuff installed on here. Make sure the fill is black. Actually, no, leave it white for now. Make sure there's no stroke on. So let's just start making it. And the reason I said to have the start reaction save is that we have a guide to sort of go by. And I mean, you can make it just a simple rectangle. But I want it just something slightly different. I mean, not 100%, it's not like super different, but I like it like this. And so now this is it, pretty much. I mean, I'm gonna add just a little bit more, I think. I think I want to, it's gonna look like this. Yeah, like this. It will do just fine. Something like that. Yeah, that's good enough for now. And so what we can do now is we can turn this layer, uh, title action safe off. So we turn this, do that again. It looks a bit odd, the points. I'm just going to leave it for now. You can make it as straight as you want. It's good enough for now. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer. I'm also going to rename these two layers. I'm going to name this fill, the bottom layer. I'm going to rename this layer Stroke. For this layer, I'm going to turn the fill off. So we turn this to none. Make sure you click up on here and not on here. And we're going to turn the stroke up. So we're going to change that to about 10 pixels. Yeah, I don't know why that's not showing up properly, but there you go. Also, on this, if we go back and click on the fill layer again, we're going to change this background to black. So you can see our stroke now. Looking better already. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding in. Um, we'll do the fractal as our last. I'm going to add a highlight over this. I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit. And first of all, I'm going to duplicate this fill layer put it on top, and I'm going to call it Alpha. And then click off so there's no layer selected. Select your pen tool again and just create like a sort of shape over the top. Like so. We're gonna have to change slight things on this in a minute. So make sure the stroke is off, zero. And make sure the fill is white. Now we're gonna put the fill below the stroke layer. Um, for this, we're going to go to modes. So if you haven't got modes, you can either press this, toggle for just slash mode, or F4. So like that. I'm going to go stencil alpha. And then also, uh, this layer we're going to call highlight, the new one that we've made. On this, I'm going to just turn the opacity down. 
capacity to get a capacity we can click on that. So we're gonna do about 10 to 20% and we're gonna do about 15%. 15% be fine. Click off that. And that's it, we've got we've got it done now pretty much. I mean all we're gonna do is just change this now to make it look a bit better. So what I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add a fractal noise. I mean you don't have to do this but I'm going to to the stroke layer, make sure it's always to the stroke layer now that we're going to be doing if you click off, you see this sort of thing now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the evolution so I'm going to press ALT hold down ALT and if you click the stopwatch here it will bring you to here and all I want you to do is type in time times uh, 356 just click away and now as you can see over time this slightly moves the layer here yeah just to give it a bit of liveness I guess I mean it's not necessary in some, in some places you may not want it at all next thing we're going to do is add a tint just add this below or add this to the stroke layer straight there and we change this to a uh, an orange layer yeah an orange I'm not, I don't use orange often I do love me some orange I've got to say that. So now you can sort of see. And the last thing I'm going to add to this is a glow. I've got tons of glows here. But because we're all beginners, or most of us are beginners, I'm just going to use a standard stylized glow. And I mean, this will do the job anyway, so I mean, you don't need to add any more than that. As you can tell, it's glowing out quite a bit, so we're going to turn this down a bit. Take this down to about 30%, I think. And see how this happens you have to do a lot to this make it look right Turn that down to about five as you can see it looks just plain white on it it's really not cool so we're going to play with some settings and see if we can get the sort of kind of contrast out i'm probably going to have to actually going to mess with the other settings on my day so we're going to mess with these things, tempo, threshold a bit up, yeah, something like that, about 75 I think would do. Let's fit it again so you can see, and the grow radius, see, you don't want it to be so far out, you want it to be quite in this. So about... I'd uh, say about seven. Seven will do fine. Yeah, and for intensity we can increase. Uh, how does that look? I mean, this part is just all about experimentation, so whatever you want it to be. I mean, that looks fine for now. So I'm not going to do anything more than that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And so all we do is for our clip, I've got the clip here. We're going to drag it in and put it below the highlight. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go to a scene which is static. I'm just going to freeze frame this. So, time. Freeze frame makes the entire frame the same. And I'm going to scale this down. You can either use S on your keyboard or just use the uh, things here. And that's it. We are done. And that was done. Well, not too long this time. So I hope you. Uh, I'm sorry about the last tutorial that was 15 minutes. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is putting this into a um, ring sort of thing, into a cylinder, as it's called in VR effects. But there you go. Anyways. I uh, hope you enjoyed looking at this and this will give you, you can use it however you want really, I mean it's all about the creativity of the user itself and I'll say I learned this from uh, Alan who I will link down below, I don't know directly from me, he has a tutorial channel, I'll link that to the channel which is a great tutorial channel if you still, if you want to learn After X, his is quite advanced but there you go. Thanks for listening and subscribe if you liked.